Greetings fellow warriors and welcome back to another Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord video. As previously already mentioned, today I want to talk about the hunting mod I'm currently creating. Don't worry, the feast mod is still in development, but I set it back for now until I've got all the systems inside the game that the feast mod could benefit from, like hunting. I already created a few community posts, well, <laughs> to be fair, only two for now, that dive into some features that this mod will provide, but why not just create a video on it? This project is almost entirely community driven by my patrons and YouTube members. With the donations, I'm buying new animal types. Just recently I purchased boars, wolves and hyenas. If you want to support the mod in any shape, be sure to become a member or patron. The more funds we have, the more animal types I can purchase and integrate into the game. Everything else from the integration of these models to coding the AI will be my part, but I need the funds if we want to have more animal types in the game. Honestly, I was aiming for at least some more savanna type animals or desert type animals. Maybe some small game too, but these are pretty expensive, so anything helps. As a patron or YouTube member in the Vikinger or at least Battlelord tier, you will also gain early access to the mod once I feel fine with the amount of content it provides. Also, if you have any good ideas, head over to my Discord server and look for the channel appropriately named Hunt Mod Development. You can see it right here on the screen. Write your ideas down and I see what I can do. Of course, I can't integrate each one of them, but maybe some. Hunting is the act of tracking, pursuing and capturing or killing wild animals for food, sport or conservation purposes. It's been a fundamental part of human survival and cultural heritage for thousands of years, evolving from necessity for sustenance and recreational activities. Hunting can contribute to wildlife management by controlling populations and promoting ecological balance as well. So first up, let's look at each animal type we currently have. Some of them are already completely integrated in the game, while others are unfinished. Unfinished because adding custom animals with custom skeletons to the game is literally a hell nightmare. Do one thing wrong and everything crashes, maybe even your GPU. That's why I am taking my time to make sure that everything will work. This mod does something that I haven't seen before, adding actual animal parties on the campaign map that lets you engage them or be engaged by. Once you engage an animal party, it will tell you the amount of animals as well as a custom picture of the animal type. Alright, so first off we've got proper boars. Boars are male wild pigs. They are known for their characteristic tusks, which can be a formidable weapon. These animals have a varied diet, including roots, tubers, fruits, insects and smaller animals. Boars are known for their aggressive behavior, particularly when defending their territory and have been hunted by humans for meat and sport throughout the history. These boars are some troublesome fellas. The attack pattern is to strike swift and try to lodge one of their tusks inside your body, flee and repeat. They will be found in forest areas and are usually running along with a few other boars. It takes quite a few hits to kill them, but the reward will be all worth it. If they can connect a strike, you will be knocked back and staggered. Next up we have deers. Deers are known for their slender bodies, long legs and usually branching antlers in males. Deers are herbivores and feed on vegetation such as grasses, leaves and shoots. They inhabit a wide range of habitats, including forests, grasslands and tundras. Their party size will vary greatly. Deers are generally characterized as passive animals, exhibiting a non-aggressive demeanor in most situations. They tend to avoid confrontation and will usually flee when they perceive a threat. Their natural instinct is to prioritize evasion over confrontation. It's rather easy to kill them, sometimes even one hit will suffice, but they are very quick on their toes. Up next we have the gruesome wolves. Wolves are carnivorous mammals, known for its hunting prowess. Wolves are apex predators that inhabit a wide range of ecosystems, from forests, grasslands to tundras and deserts. They typically live in packs and exhibit social behaviors like cooperative hunting. Wolves have been both feared and revered by humans, featuring prominently in folklore, mythology and conversation efforts. Wolves will be aggressive on the campaign map, meaning they can engage the player if he's wandering alone or in a small group. Their attack pattern is to strike swift and run. Their numbers are greatly superior to any other animal parties roaming Caradia. Because wolves are known for their hunting prowess, they will adapt to the situations. They will always try to hit you from behind, where you can't see them. If you look in their direction, they tend to run away or just simply attack. It takes a few hits to kill them, more than deers but less than boars. 
If they attack you, you will also be knocked back. The next animal type that's currently integrated in the mod are bears. Bears are large mammals, characterized by their stocky build and shaggy fur. They are distributed across various habitats, from forests and mountains to tundras and arid regions. Bears are omnivores, with diets that include plants, berries, insects, fish and occasionally small mammals. They have strong limbs and sharp claws, adapted for digging, climbing and catching prey. You will usually find only one to three bears in one animal party on the campaign map. While typically shy, bears can be dangerous if provoked or surprised, and encounters with humans should be approached cautiously. I haven't added this yet, but I'm exploring the possibilities of making bears only spawn between spring to autumn. During winter, I want them to hibernate, but like I said, I haven't really looked into this yet. These ones need a lot of hits to go down. They will also knock you down on the floor with each attack. The attack pattern is not to do hit and runs. They will relentlessly try to kill you and let me tell you, they do a lot of damage. Bears will also have a unique kill move animation once their HP is very low. And the last animal type we currently have are hyenas. Hyenas are also carnivorous mammals, known for their distinctive vocalizations and scavenging behavior. They inhabit a range of habitats from savannas and grasslands to forests and deserts, but inside this mod they will only spawn in savanna and deserts. Hyenas have powerful jaws and teeth adapted to crushing bones. They are skilled hunters as well as scavengers. They will also be aggressive on the campaign map with a similar attack pattern to wolves, but slightly altered. I haven't added them to the game yet, but I've got the model, animations and stuff, so bear with me here. Just a quick note while editing this video, I already added them to the game actually, since I wrote the script, so forget the last part. <laughs> As you might have already noticed from what I'm providing here, each animal will have its own sound effects, its own AI, animations, spawn behavior and loot table. Also every human animation you will see here are all done by me too. The loot you will get from the animal varies between each animal types. The higher the stake, the more loot you will get, so for example you will get more meat and leather from bears rather than boars. There are also some special items that you may get. From boars you may get a boar trophy and from bears you may get a bear trophy, bear helmet or bear shoulders. Same with wolves. The amount of stuff you will get scales directly with your scouting skill. So spending focus points on scouting is actually viable now. Once an animal is down, you will see a new pop-up saying, press F to loot. An animation will play and you will be greeted by the inventory screen where you can claim your loot for each animal. Hunting on horseback may also have its downsides now. You see, I implemented a scared mechanic to the mod that will increase the longer wild animals are in the general vicinity of your horse. Once this bar is full, your horse will knock you down and run away to safety. It's just a neat little idea that I had and, if I remember correctly, games like The Witcher and Red Dead Redemption 2 have systems similar to this too. But let me tell you, we are not done yet. You see, I want this mod to be THE hunting experience for you guys, and just slapping some animals on the campaign map won't do it any justice. Like any good hunter before you, you need to prepare for the hunt. I mean, you could just engage an animal party and now what? You are inside the mission and have no clue where you can find those animals, and let me tell you, running around and searching for them might take a while and leaves you open for any ambushes. That's why we have special hunting based items that will aid you in your hunts. Let's talk about traps first, since I've already made a community post about them to get them out of the way. Depending on the situation, you can either tactically place the trap with a neat little custom animation at choke points, or even throw them during a heated confrontation. Upon hitting the floor, the trap will open. Once a wild animal is close to the trap, it will spring. The higher your scouting level, the higher the damage it will do. Each trap will take up a slot in your equipment inventory, so choose wisely. In the footage, you can see some of them in action. While weaker prey might be killed with one hit of the trap, bigger prey won't go down so easily. The next gadget you may get is the hunting dog leash. These canine friends are very good at spotting and even killing animals. With the press of a button, you can tell them to either follow or attack potential prey. Once you order your dog to attack, they will directly run to the prey, letting you know where they are actually hiding. Their damage is pretty low, they will be good to hunt passive prey such as deers, but won't do much in a fight against bears or even wolves. Up next, as we call it in Germany, thanks to Kolgrimmer on the Discord for the idea, 
the Sauspieß, or rather Boar Spear. This weapon is a special kind of pole arm that you can spear brace with. You can use it on any type of animal really, but its main function is in the name, killing boars. Once you see the swine run towards you, just like with any spear bracing pole arm, press X to get into position. Its damage will be calculated via its base damage, plus your scouting skill divided by yada yada, some calculations I did to make your scouting level play a big role. Next up we have the hunting horn. They produce a rich resonant sound that carries over long distances, allowing hunters to convey commands and coordinate movements during a hunt. However, in this mode the hunting horn acts as a bird call for animals. Once you blow the horn, each animal will walk towards the location of the sound. It's just a means to an end to be fair. You can either strategically call them to choke points and hit them once you've got them in your sight or use one of the bear traps to kill them. Essentially it's up to you how you want to engage in the hunting mission. You can be stealthily and sneak up on them. If you sneak they won't notice you as easily. Or just go hawk wild. Up next we have torches. You can use these to illuminate your surroundings during nocturnal hunting expeditions. By pressing Q you can sway your torch back and forth with a neat little animation. That way you will repel any type of animal, giving you either space or opportunities to strike. It's really OP and I still need to fine tune it, but I think it works really well. And the last gadget that will be at your disposal for now is the hunting glove. This one is definitely one of my favorites. Otherwise known as falconry glove will give you the ability to use a trained hawk to hunt for prey. Once equipped and inside the mission, you will get a pop-up saying that you can press Q to scout the area. Upon doing so, you will let your feathered friend fly high up into the air to give you an overhead view of the surrounding area. You will need to look for the huntable animals. By pressing shift you can zoom in too. Each animal will be highlighted red, while the player is highlighted green. Once spotted, you can just return to your character and the hawk will physically come back to you with a neat little animation. To make it not as OP, you can only use one gadget at any given time, except the bear trap and the torch. These ones you can use with either of them. So depending on what kind of prey you are engaging, the approach how you want to do it is really up to you. So one might wonder, how are we going to get hold of these gadgets? Well, for that we have special quests that will be distributed by either local farmers or even nobles. Some of these quests include the hunt for a specific animal trophy, while others are specific to the area, like boars eating all the crops or a wolf pack threatening the livelihood of local sheep farmers, etc. Every time you complete such a quest, there's a chance of you getting one of the hunting gadgets that I talked about here. As for the release date of the mod, well, I plan to release it soon. It all depends on how quick I am to add all the missing stuff to the mod and the ideas you give me. Of course, like I already said, it will be first released into early access to my patrons and YouTube members. That way I can iron out any bugs for the public release. So yeah, these are all the features currently. Like I said, if you have any more ideas, feel free to head over to my Discord server and look for the channel appropriately named Hunt Mod Development. If you want to support the mod, be sure to become a patron or YouTube member, but I guess this is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. It would help out tremendously or maybe even subscribe to the channel. That would really make my day. Join my Discord server if you want to talk with me or other like-minded people about all kinds of stuff or simply keep track of all the updates and new mod releases. And I'll see you all in my next video. Become a member today and bye. Another huge thank you to Athena, Mother of the Institute, Isaac Waltzman, Justin Knudsen, Kenneth Riele, Wow, by Jay Kuhn, G. Morrissey, Josh Hardy, Lirian, Ugi, Philippe Ramele, Paul Andre Danielsen, Rain, Sold for Seven Dollars, Ria Fitzgerald, Wolfie UK, Zach B, Clinky Man, Ed Kainer, Chains, Pyralized, Sahab Fire Playlist, Great Line, Yakato, and Rebo for supporting me, my channel, and the mods I'm creating. Thank you!